And I think at the weekend you should enjoy a really hearty brunch. Yeah. So this is this. And because I like French toast, but I don't like it when it gets all claggy and horrible in the butter and it mm. can get, you, your pan gets burnt and then you mm. get a bit of burnt. So yeah. this is a great healthier version okay. using individual baked French toast muffins. Oh, nice. So hopefully you'll like them. Mm, so I'm just going to make the, the, uh, the custard for the toast, which is just eggs and yeah. a bit of milk. Whole milk, though. Yeah. Um, now, a bit of sugar. Obviously, they say sugar's worse than fat, which is true, but it's the weekend and it's brunch time, so you need a little bit of sugar. It's only yeah. 60 grams, and this, this makes eight portions, so it's not a great deal. Okay. But if you are on a low-sugar diet, you could always use a sweetener or agave or something like that. A bit of cinnamon, again, that's optional. If you don't like cinnamon, you don't have to have it. I love it personally. Do you like cinnamon? Oh, no, I do. Yeah. Well, it depends on sure? what it's in. Yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> you don't seem too, too sold no, on no, that. No, no, I do like cinnamon. You do. In fact, I've got a rather nice granola with cinnamon oh, in you? at home at the moment. Yeah. Is it your Ooh. recipe? No. All right, <laughs> no. I was going to say. So I'm just going to mix those together to a, a, just a loose custard and then throw in some stale bread. It's got to be stale. We've all got a bit of stale bread going on. Always. And these, oh, yeah, nice crunchy stale pieces in there, just cubed into about two centimetres, one inch cubes. Mm. And then just leave that in there just mm. for a couple of seconds, not too long, just to soak through. And you can give that a good mix together just to get those uh, mm. bread pieces soaking in that custard. Again, you can add any flavour to this. If you like mixed spice rather than cinnamon or ginger, yeah. if you wanted to, you could even put some fresh ginger yeah, or stem ginger in there, nice. something like that. Mm. And then I'm going to toss in some blueberries as well, fresh blueberries. Super berries. Super berries, although I don't believe in superfoods. Mm. I think it's all a load of marketing nonsense. Yeah, I don't mm. like it. Okay. It's good for you, but they're not but, super. They yeah. don't fly, do oh, they? Oh, right. I wish and I had said see that another spiralizer, <laughs> I'll, I'll throw it into an <laughs> oncoming traffic. So I've got in there... So I can't be bothered with it. It's so fast. I've got in there some blueberries. Uh, these are just frozen blueberries. About eight tablespoons mm. of maple syrup. Mm. And a good squeeze of lemon juice. And this is just the compote, because... French toast, you've got to have a blueberry sort of coolie jammy lovely. thing going on. So in with a bit of lemon, just half a juice of lemon. Mm. Lemon juice of lemon, I can't speak today. But if you we don't understand. like... You know what I mean, you know what I'm on about. If you don't like um, it too tart or too sweet, you can obviously alter how much maple syrup, how much yeah. um, and, and could you use that. honey instead of maple syrup? Of course or? you could, yeah. definitely, because yeah. it's a lot, a lot easier to find and sometimes yeah. it can be a and bit less, cheaper and as cheaper, well. Yeah. And cheaper, So, and when the... Little oh, bread cubes lovely. have soaked. Mm. It's nice and fresh, isn't it? Mm. When the bread, cube, bread cubes have soaked in that custard, all you need to do is just pile them loosely into the muffin tin. Make sure this is really well greased, because otherwise mm -hmm. it'll just stick and it'll be horrible. And you'll, yeah. you know... You have to little, dig it out. Ugly little bits of French Stick toast. with a cake tray on your lap. Exactly, <laughs> with a spoon. So just loosely pack those in, get in the, it mixed nicely and evenly. And any liquid that's left in the bottom of the bowl at the end, you know, when you've... When you've piled these into the muffin holes, just pour that on. Make okay. sure you don't waste any. So you pop those into the oven. Uh, they only take 20 minutes to cook. They need about 20 minutes to soften, though, in the tin and just solidify a bit, because obviously it's egg, uh, yeah. you want it to solidify. Yeah. Now, I've heard you can't poach eggs. I'm hopeless at poaching. I've, I've tried you. everything. I mean, I've used poachers, but that's cheating. Oh, that's nonsense. No, well, this is I'm... cheating a little bit. Yeah, but, but at least it's a naked egg. It's a naked, well... It's not, a, it's not a semicircle shape no, or it's not, not a, you it's, know... It's, it's natural form. Yeah. And all I've done is I've just lined around my kid. This is actually Jamie Oliver's tip, so this isn't original from me. Right. I've stolen it from Jamie, but it's very, very good. Yeah. All you need to do is line around my kid with some cling film, yeah. grease that a little bit, and then crack your egg into there. It's a great method. Crack mm. your egg into there. And then just bring the top of the cling film together into like a little, like a little money bag, a little parcel of yeah. money. No Wishful holes. Wishful thinking. No for holes. The water to leak no, into. No, no holes at all. Make sure you really twist it quite well. Yeah. So it, you know it looks like a. It's quite strange, but yeah. all you need to do then is pop that. You Ooh. can season that as well if you want to add any flavourings you want to, like chilli powder or flaked chillies. And then all you need to do is just get that into a pan of simmering water. And the best thing about this is you can do this the night before. Oh. Prepare all your eggs. Say if you're doing breakfast for ten. Yeah. Put all your eggs into the cling film into the fridge and then get them out half an hour before you start cooking them, drop them into a pan of barely simmering water, and they just barely take... Simmering. Barely simmering. water, so okay. not boiling, barely uh, simmering. Oh, maybe that's where I go wrong Yeah, it's not well. too hot. And you don't need the vinegar and all of that, just barely simmering water. Yeah. And it takes three minutes for a really soft one, four minutes for a bit firmer yolk. Oh, gosh, that's brilliant. And then brilliant. take them out, plunge them into cold water, and you've got perfectly cooked poached eggs.